Well, good afternoon and welcome to Tea Time with Miss Liz. That's right, it's afternoon tea and we are in the house with the beautiful Joy Brown. So I'm just gonna read a little bit on Joy and we're gonna get into it and have a fabulous tea time together with everyone who is out there watching. And if you're watching the replay, please put hashtag replay. So Joy is the Chief Executive Officer of 3E Consulting, where she continues to educate, equip, and empower people through coaching, conversations, and workshops. Joy impacts and presence, presence are felt by others through her ex expertise in career and entrepreneur development, conflict resolution, goal settings, health and wellness, leadership and team development, and personal and professional branding. Joy has been a part of two anthologies and is an Amazon international best-selling author for Step Into Leadership Greatness. Leadership is not a title. She continues to empower audience internationally to show up bigger and bolder and level up. Make boss moves through her numerous appearances at virtual conferences and summits. Joy has been featured in various magazines and articles such as Tap In, V, VIP Global Woman of Dignity and has been recognized as a top 20 business coach, top 25 most inspiring women and top 25 of global influencer and top 50 of unstoppable innovators. Joy is walking in her purpose, helping to educate, equip and empower women to unlock their passions, purpose and potential. Thank you so much, Joy, for joining me today in Miss Liz's Tea Time and amazing, amazing bio. But how I got to meet Joy was through the Sean Fair Leadership Experience Tour in September. So I actually got to meet this person in person and she is a blessing. I, it was a real honor to meet you, Joy. So I just wanna know how did it all begin and why the 3E Consulting? Oh, well, that's, I just wanna say thank you, Miss Liz and looking forward to a dynamic conversation as I'm on the tea time. And so how it all began, and so as I look back over my life, I have always been a one who, who does inspiration for others, who wants to empower others. I can remember even as a child, my grandmother instilling in me what I call the I can mantra, that I could achieve anything that I set my mind to. And it's through my journey, and I'm in HR, have over 23 years in HR, that I've always been about people. I've always been about helping people, inspiring people. With a name like Joy, as I always say, my mother named me well, and I bring the joy to anywhere I go. And so through my gifts and talents that I walk in each and every day, I am about educating, equipping, and empowering. And so that's what birthed the three E E E stands for educate, equip, and empower. So I do that at my job. I do that in the community. Anything that I'm a part of, I give my gifts and talents to make it better because joy was here. So that's what kind of started the three E E E consulting. That's awesome. I really like the three E's. Well, my name starts with an E, so why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. I like the E, the E is empowering, right? And, mm -hmm. and it really does educate. So what was your biggest uh, struggles bringing and creating the three E consulting? Well, one of the things is I think the biggest struggles is really trying to decide how you want to, again, brand yourself. And so one of the things is what, what birthed it. I was doing all this coaching. I was doing all this career strategist stuff. And so one day I said, I'm going to just bring all that under one umbrella. And so that's really what I did. And understanding that I say I continue to educate, equip, and empower organizations and people through a variety of areas, such as career coaching, through business entrepreneur, through health and wellness, through goal setting. And as I look back, these are all the areas that I live personally. And so even when I speak, I write, I speak from a place that I've been. And I think that's so important in this walk in life that we're in, especially as we're empowering people. So I understand the journey because I've been a single mother and came out of that. I've been divorced and came out of that. You know, I was much heavier and I decided to put my health first. And now I'm, you know, I called it living your best life. And now I'm empowering other women to do the same, but I'm just walking in the purpose and telling the story and sharing those strategies. So I guess the challenge is just figuring out, you have all these gifts and talents, how do you wanna start branding yourself? And so I really wanted to bring it all together. And so everything I do is under that three E-E-E. 
And I like it. I like the three E E E. It's got a catch to it too. It's like a nice little flow of tea, right? Three E E E. <laughs> yes. Here we go. We're going to just spill you tea today. So Joy, I, I got to meet you in September. What, what did you learn about yourself when you spoke for that event? I will say that that was my first in-person speaking event. Now I've been speaking all my life, as y'all can tell. When I was younger, when you know, when you asked a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? Guess what I wanted to be, Liz? I wanted to be a talk show host. So I knew back then that God had gifted me with this voice. And, you know, I grew up in the church. So I've done a lot of stuff on the pulpit and stuff like that. I do a lot of stuff in the community. So I've never been shy of a mic. But it was when I first decided, which was on my birthday, when I answered the yes to really step into this empowerment speaking. Because I've been, I give a lot of presentations at work. So I facilitated workshops. So I knew I had the gift, but it was really different to step outside of that and to now have an empowerment speaker as another title that I hold. And that experience was life changing. Just the connections, you know, that we got a chance to meet in person. So I was super excited to meet not only Liz, but all the dynamic speakers that we saw for months on screens. I mean, you know, just the wealth of information that we learned, just preparing for that day and just being able to tell your story. And one thing about it I learned is my story may not be Liz's story or a, another speaker's story, but it's still a story that needs to be told and that I can just bless and inspire someone. And so I really learned to say, wow, I'm at the table wow, I have something to say and to be worth that I want to tell the world. So I really think that was it, that experience, because again, like I said, I've been speaking, but this was my really first time out here really speaking in public and calling myself an empowerment speaker. Well, I think learned and learned something too, right? With the three E's, right? Educate, mm -hmm. equip, and empower, because it did yeah. that all for you during and their, during your time, you know, on Sean Fair. I, I, I really, really was impressed by how far you really came in your journey and that when I heard your story, it was like, wow, really, really empowering and really educating, you know, because we're giving the education through speaking and that. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciated you said that you wanted to be a talk show host because that's really yeah. incredible because you just never know how the future will take you, right? And here we are I today. <laughs> I know. And that, that's why I tell you, see, though, and I'm big on affirmation. I'm big on positivity. And so who knew when I was a young child and had the little microphone and the brush and was talking and, and all of that. But I knew then that I had the gift. And so, like I said, up, oh, you need a speaker up. Oh, that's me. You need a facilitator. That's me. You need me moderate a panel. And even to this day, I have people who will reach out to me to do different things. But I also want to use that as an encouragement that even the dreams, the aspiration, the thoughts that you may have had when you were a child or back in the day, it can still come to pass. It can still be manifested if you position yourself. So when I look at, you know, being doing the author and the anthology, all of that set me up. And if I and it was like divine assignment, I do say. And so, you know, when I answered the call for yes, at my first speaking event on my birthday, you know, that's what probably led, you know, Sean to reach out to me. And again, I was highly, you know, selective for that and appreciative of that opportunity. And, and you know, because I didn't know who Sean was. I I had to, I was like, oh, who's this person? Just like when I when Dr. <laughs> Sylvia who gave me my first opportunity. I learned how to Google because you hear about people, you know, reaching out to you. And I was new. And I'm like, okay, is this real? You know, I, I got, you know, you got a fact check now. You know, everybody be sliding in. You got to make sure, like, is this real? Make sure they're who they are. And luckily, I had people that I just met and I went to their page and they were connecting them. So I reached out to them. So when we talk about the power of networking and people who say, hey, yes, this is what you do. This is how you prepare. I appreciate that because that's what helped me show up. So I was well prepared when I had to do my audition and things of that nature. So I appreciate the, the new connections and the relationships that I am building and creating and nurturing on this journey. And like Liz, like we're forever. So I told Liz, I'm coming to Canada. Guess what I'm calling when I go to Canada? Liz, I'm coming. That's what I'm going to say. Liz, I'm coming. So I have friends everywhere now and I love it. Well, I really, I really like that you you shared your story about Sean because I think that's what we all went through. We were all like, "Who is this man? Like, who? What is he doing?" But you just never know who's watching you, right? You just never know who is getting in 
inspired by what you're sharing. You're connecting, mm -hmm. you know, you're sometimes we put a post up and we don't realize that someone else is actually watching us. Mm -hmm. You know, they're actually connecting with us and they're saying, Hey, it's not the right time right now, but let's wait. Let's mm -hmm. see where she's going to go with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is where she's going. Okay. I'm going to, I'm snatching her up, you know, because, and that's what I was saying to all of the lead family as I've been speaking to them is that I noticed that we all had the same connection. Mm -hmm. We all overcame something. We all mm -hmm. pushed through our pain, but we, did it in a positive way. We took the pain and we turned it into triumph, right? We we made that difference. We we, we said, no way, you're not getting us, right. you know? Mm -hmm. We're going to push and we're going to push hard. And I think that's how we educate, right? And we mm -hmm. empower other people, you know? And with the right equipment. So there's those three EEs again, yes. right? So it's yes. all alignment. It's all the alignment of the right timing. We might want something right away, but it's not the right time. It's not the mm -hmm. right place and it's not the right person. But I honestly believe that we were all put together for a reason. We were all connected for a reason, as I've shared with you guys in private, is that I felt that we were connected mm -hmm. so that we could all grow. We could all water each other's seeds. And that's what we were talking about in the back of the studio was, mm -hmm. you know, in order to support each other, it doesn't always have to be financial. It could be the word of the mouth. It could be, mm -hmm. you know what? I know somebody who can do this for you. I can't do it, but I know someone. And that's how we connect and that's how we grow, mm -hmm. right? And that's how we educate too. Mm -hmm. Because the young girls and young guys that are out there watching us right now, they could be saying, you know what? I don't know if I have it. And we're here to tell you, yes, you do have it. Mm -hmm. just, yes, keep, you do. just keep working it, right? So what message would you have for the, the youths out there for getting into this field of consulting? I would say just believe in yourself. I am big on beliefs because I think it starts with believing in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to? So I, as I look at my younger self and telling the young people that no matter what you have to believe, there you have gifts and talents and goals and aspirations hold on to them, write them down. I'm big on visions, very big on visions, writing those down. Cause I believe you have to write the vision to make it plain. Not only that, once you believe in yourself, it is important that you connect with someone who is going to, as Liz said, water your vision. Who's going to support you? Who's going to say, Liz, what you need me to do? Oh, you need me to read that? You need me to pop on, interview you because you got something coming on? That's about watering. It truly is. I always say it takes a village. And I look at my village, my network, my community that I have built along this journey. And I would not be where I am today without my community. Someone who said, Joy, you got this. You can do this. Here, Joy, do this in this opportunity. And I always tell the story. You know, like I said, listen, we have so many empowerment stories. I'm like, well, how much time we got? Because I got all that <laughs> I'm strong enough for them to overcome. Oh my God, how much time you got? But you know, it was with that, but even when I tell my story, when I started as an intern and I worked my way up, that people saw something in me that was kind of dormant, that was trying to come out, but they gave me an opportunity. And so when I look back of how I love to facilitate, they say, hey, Joe, I'm about to facilitate, you know, a workshop, come with me. Okay. You know, in my career, was growing up in the career in HR. Okay, enjoy. You know, you want to read, you know, do the objectives. Yes, I do. Thank you. But little do, if I look back on it, those were seeds that was being planted because I love facilitation. I love having engagement. I love, you know, like you said, educating equipment and power through whatever the subject matters. And I love connecting with people. So when you talk about the connecting, but it starts with believing in yourself that I know that I have gifts and I do believe that everybody has gifts and talent. Everybody is born for a purpose and connect with people like myself. That's a coach and Liz that's going to help you find and tap into your purpose and potential all the time. I am big on tapping into people's purpose and potential at the workplace. I want you to bring your best self to work. I lead that way. I make sure I connect with my staff that way because it's just sad to be on a job that you feel on that you feel that you have nothing to give or you feel unvalued or you feel like you're not making a difference. Oh, we get to change that paradigm shift because you matter. You matter. And so connecting with people like coaches and mentors will definitely help you tap into, and we, I say live your best life. Life is so precious, Liz. And I, what do I say? You know, being in the pandemic, 
that every day I live a life of purpose. Not try to know. I live a life of purpose to make a difference. Well, and I think that's what a lot of the viewers need to understand too, right? Is just because we speak motivation and empowerment doesn't mean that we don't reach out for help ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we need the coaching. We need the mentoring. We, we can't do this on our own. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like we, we have this power that we can do it all on our, on our own, right? So we need to water each other's seeds. We need yeah. to serve tea so that we can actually make a difference and understand okay you have the sugar you have the cream okay let's have a perfect pot of tea here you know oh i don't like sugar okay well let's put some honey in your tea you know what I mean? you know like let's switch it up let's make mm -hmm. let's be different you know because we can't lead always the same we can't right. always serve the same because mm -hmm. if we do then we get stale right mm -hmm. our water just sits our tea mm -hmm. just sits and it gets it yes it gets strong but it gets bitter you know, and we can't serve bitter. We, we can only serve positive. We can only serve right. strength, you know, the real flavors, the real blends. And I tell this to everyone, don't sit in your tea too long. Sit on your tea, mm -hmm. pour your tea, spill your tea, you know, be human, be authentic, mm -hmm. live yeah. in inte integrity, you know. So I want to get into the tea of joy. Okay. So jo joy, what is your tea? And you, you know how this goes. So what is your TEA? So my TEA is truly about, again, it starts with those three E's, to educate, equip, and empower. And that is really the core of my being. That is what, even in everything I do, it's about the education. And to me, when I think about the education, the first E, it is really about the awareness. Finding out, and that could be about you, what you like, what you don't like, tapping into, you know, what do you enjoy? What do you don't enjoy? What do you want to change? What do you want to course correct? What do you want to revise? And so when I think about educating, especially in life and doing self-reflection as you grow higher and higher and stepping into any new opportunity, what do I want to do differently? So that educating is about that awareness. Then when you do that, it is really about equipping. So now that I kind of know what I want, you know, have a goal, I made it measurable. Okay, so now how am I going to do it? Okay, well, we, guess what? We got to put a plan of action together. And I always talk about, y'all know me, if you heard me speak, movement. Y'all know my one of my M's. You got to have that mindset. But movement is required to anything. You want to change your situation. Guess what? You got to do something different. You want to lose some weight. Guess what? You got to exercise and change how you eat. If you want to move, guess what? You got to find some way to go. So anything in life, action and movement is required. And that's what that planning. So after you've been educated on what you want to do, then we want to equip you to give you some strategies, some tools, some techniques, develop a plan, develop a roadmap. How do I get from point A to point B? And then after you do all of that, it's time to go to that 30, e, which is empower. Then you're empowered to do it. You're empowered to not say, well, no, they said I couldn't. The devil is a lie. Yes, you can. And when there's no path, you create your own path. When people don't see you on your drive, you say, oh, no. I know there's greater in me. Let me go on and see how I can rebrand myself, you know, do something differently. Ask somebody, hey, can I shadow you? Can I ask you some questions? How did you get to this job? Or what do you think I need to do to get to the next level? That's how you feel empowered. That means, no, when a door closes, you say, okay, well, let me go on and do something else. Let me go on and walk into this path or create my own path. And so that is really my tea. It is really about making sure that I educate, equip, and empower people, especially women, to unlock their passion, purpose, and potential and live their best life. I know that's right. We say that's a song, you know, live your best life like it's golden. Make that your reality. Make like it your reality. Don't just, and I always say, don't just you know, go through life, bobbing and weaving and go to work, come home, watch your favorite reality show. There is more. And that's fine if you do that. But guess what? There is more to life to that. Get involved. Pay it forward. Be a coach. Be a mentor. Mentor a young person. I am big on young people. I have a 23 year old because I look at the journey. Now, I know I am. If I look behind me, if I'm not training, if I'm not pouring into the future, uh, we got to. It's my charge. It's my duty because I want to do all of this so I can train somebody else to come take my place and go higher and far past me. But if we don't do it, they the future. They are the future. 
So to me, that is where it's all about. Just give back. That is so important. I grew up in a family that we serve. My grandparents were servants. They empowered people in the church. And so and so that was my point of reference. So people said, Joe, do you ever get tired of doing stuff? No, because that's not work. It's not work. Nothing I do is work. Even when I go to work on my main job, why? Because I'm living in my gifts and I'm empowering people as the HR director, which is a new upgrade. So I do have a little testimony. That's yeah. So when I say walk in the gifts, so I've just accepted a new position as an HR director. So when you talk about the journey and where I started from, and I stay true to myself and through coaches and mentors and walking and know, like I said, making a difference. I'm just one person. And I just, you know, you're just like, you can't keep it to yourself because I just know the journey. I have grown up in this field, but I'm, and my message is if it happened for me, guess what? It can happen for you too. And I'm here to help you show you how to do it. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So now I want to get into your T a little deeper because I okay. know it's the three E's, but if you could give me a word for each of the letters, the T E A, what would you give me joy? So a letter for a word for each letter. So a word that starts with T, a word that starts with E, and a, a word that starts with A. I want to know who Joy Brown is. All right. So let me see. So my T, starting with the T, would be timing. I'm going to say time for that first one. And why I say that is I do believe that everything is destined in life that there's a journey, there's a path. And so sometimes you may have like your goals, your gifts and talents that you may not be able to do. But I am here to tell you that a delay is not a denial. And I am here to also say the stuff that I thought about have manifested in my life that, will, that has blown my mind. And I'm just grateful. But I look at the timing. And so again, I'm always saying that sometimes my time, I want stuff now. And God be like, mm -mm, not yet. You got to go through the preparation. You got to go through some stuff. And it is in those moments where I went through kind of those tests that have been my testimony, which is a part of the timing of life. It is all that has prepared me for this. So I would say that T is time. Um, and even with that timing being that testimony. And so the like E, that. yeah, so the E would be empowerment because again when i say my mother named me well and she knew what she was doing there's a story even behind my name how my name is spelled j-o-i not j-o-y and everything it was destined like god gave her that name and i truly believe that i bring joy to this world and i empower and not only that as you think you're doing that but people will say you know your energy that you bring i hear the passion the affirmations that you speak and even like when i first speak and people like sean was like joe i need you not to start at 10 because i have this powerful voice you know this commanding voice and so i appreciate that and so it is something about the presence that i empower but it's through the words that are authentic that I say, and that I can understand, you know, people and the connections I have with people. And so I just want to be someone to empower. Cause again, as I look back on my life, there were people who said, you can do it. When I didn't think, okay, I don't know if I can do this. And yes, you can. Okay. And you know, so they empowered me in ways that I didn't even know. And even like years later, people come back and say, oh my God, Joy, you, you touched me, you did this. And you'd be like, Wow. And so that E would be in power. And then the A would be activate the vision. And I think the A, you have to activate. You have to, and activating means by doing something. Activate what you have called in you. Don't just stay dormant. Don't just wait for things to happen to you. Sometimes you've got to make things happen for you. And so it's activating. And so it's being in the right place at the right time, connecting, picking up the call, you know, everything, as you said, how do we get here? It's because, oh, I just, you know, I have another, like, I'm going to take the example of when COVID hit, I sell shea butter. So I was all geared up, all these in-person events, right? COVID hit. Guess what? We in our house. 
So I'm thinking, what am I going to do with this shea butter? ain't going to sell out my house, right? So what I have to do, I activated and put the motion, but I did my website. Now, I knew the website was on the things to do list, but it wasn't a top priority. But that whole situation, I had to activate and do something different to help me sustain the business. And I will say by me putting, developing my website, reaching out to my clients, letting them know, hey, I'm still here. I have something. I just rebranded myself. But what if I just said, OK, well, how am, what am I going to do? Not put anything and not activate the vision to help me get out of there and then go back to it and connect with people. And let them know who I am. So I think that's so important to activate. So it's a time thing that you're going to go through life, but you're going to come out better and you will have a testimony. And then you will be empowered to share your story to, with others and connect with them. And then you're going to activate and make stuff happen. And together, oh, watch out that world because we are just getting started. I do believe in 2022. New stuff will be birthed. I do believe that. And so I just be greatness for Miss Liz and her brand and what she has because greatness is here and greatness will in many areas of our lives and business that we will be able to share with others. And I really like that because I like your strong team. And this is what I did is I pushed you <laughs> to share your strong tea because girl, you, it is you. It is you. As soon as you were giving me the words, I was like, Oh my God, that is her. Like really like this is, this is how amazing this tea works guys. I'm mm -hmm. telling you tea really does make a difference mm -hmm. and you just never know how strong you really are. The words that you gave me tea empowerment and activate that is your past, present and future. Mm -hmm. And joy, that is you. That is you girl. Because as a little girl, you wanted to be that broadcaster. You wanted mm -hmm. to be that TV host. It took time. You worked your time as mm -hmm. a child to find the steps, get empowered, get engaged, get, get motivated, you know, find the resources so that you could be who you are today. Empowering. My God, that's what you're doing right now. You're empowering people. You are in the present girl. Like your tea is so strong. I am so happy for your tea. Like, this is what I mean. I can't serve the teas. You guys have to serve your own teas mm -hmm. because this is what I do. I just hold the pot and I just spill you guys so you can get out there and get your teas out there because you just never know. And activate. Oh my God. Yeah. Future. This girl's going on fire. My God. Like 2022 <laughs> new beginnings. Like there is a lot of things that are going to be happening mm -hmm. for a lot of us. And I like the way that you shared your story about COVID because COVID Mm -hmm. actually did activate a lot of people mm -hmm. okay what am i gotta do now everything that we've been putting on hold for years mm -hmm. or, or or i'll do that next month or it's not the right mm -hmm. COVID actually activated us and all said wake up do what mm -hmm. you gotta do and stop prolonging it because now is the time to do it and i i was the same way COVID, mm -hmm. it was like how are you doing this move girl you mm -hmm. need action right and that's what my T is teaching, education, awareness, you know, transformation, empowerment, and mm -hmm. action. That's those are the T's that I serve. But when you serve your tea, Joy, you serve a strong cup of tea. And anyone who is watching now or watching the replay, please connect with Joy. Like this girl is amazing. Now I want to get into the number three because I know that you do this thing. I think it's on Tuesdays or Thursdays. I can't remember what day it is, but you do. A very short broadcast but you do the three e's and you do the number three so you always have a three three different I, words so i want to get into that why the number three does it re resemble something I, three is one of my favorite numbers a three is one of my favorite numbers and if you know me i always do stuff in three so it's either three e's or it's either three p's or it's either three points and so i do believe in the manifestation of three and so i just love threes and so i do believe in three it's a biblical term i always say for the for the father son and holy ghost so that's the three but i've always been factuated with three and even I, you know i'm in a sorority so my line number is in the three. So I'm 35. So there was that three and everything. So threes just show up. And so I do believe in just that, that three. And so you're mentioning my talk to me Thursday, my talk to me Thursday. And so I use it Thursday. 
Now, I use my talk to me Thursdays just to share, again, a little inspiration. Either I'll post a quote or I'll just hop on, you know, do a live and just give some inspirational word. Not long, but like you said, and I do believe in like self-care. People who know my journey, I can't do all these titles and roles if I don't take care of me. And so when I was, especially before the weather was breaking, I would go outside, Miss Liz, in the morning time because I'm one of them wake up really early in the morning. If you need a wake up call, call me because I'm up early. You need some morning inspiration, call me because I have all this bubbly energy at like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And my girlfriend be like, Joy, I don't, and I drink no coffee, y'all. This is a natural high. So I, I said it. This is a natural, this is my natural self. And so I just wanted to come on. And so God gives me so much inspiration. And when God gives me like a quick thought, or so, I got to write it down because that's there for a reason. And even though I've been talking and, and talking about finishing strong this year, I just want to encourage that, you know, we are, we were in the fourth quarter. We just started. Y'all, this is the last quarter. But guess what? There's still time. And I just wanted to use that as to not only to encourage myself that even no matter where this year started, you could still end strong. You had some goals that you wanted to do and they got derailed or priorities changed. Guess what? You could still try to accomplish them. And so I just wanted to encourage somebody that it is never too late to accomplish anything that you want to. And I always say one of my favorite quotes, I'm a quoter, is that we are the authors of our life. Right? You have the control of the pen. Write the story. And it's okay if you need to rewrite it, revise it, Go a different way, change it. <laughs> Cause I'm quite sure if, if uh, Miss Liz Kennedy says, I know I can't that my plan, I thought I would be doing this and nope, mm, got, nope, not, no, nope, I'm got another way for you. And so I think that's important that life we pivot. And that's so what I learned even in COVID. As we talk about, you had to pivot. And I know we had to go through, you know, COVID and we've lost a lot of loved ones, but I grew so much in COVID because I had time for myself. I had time to really think, well, what do I want to do? And like you said, each day, oh, it's so precious now. It's so precious. So that's why I said I have to live a life of purpose. And at this point, it must be intentional. Everything I've been through now, it's got to be intentional. I have no time to play games. It must be intentional. I want to connect with the right people. I want to make things happen. I really really want to educate, equip, and empower others. So I, I had no time to play and not be focused and serious about what I want to do and everything. So I think that's so important in everything. Well, I, I really think that, you know, activating ourselves during COVID, you know, because it did shut some people down, but it, I believe it actually activated the world mm -hmm. in, a, in a different way. A lot of people don't see it that way, but you know, we really got moving in 2020 mm -hmm. and 2021. Things happened to me that I wouldn't have ever expected. Mm -hmm. And as as you said, yourself as well, right? The website, you were like, oh, I'll, I'll get to it later. Well, then all of a sudden, boom, you got all this sheer, sheer brother and butter that you need mm -hmm. to, you know, get rid of. You can't just have all this butter sitting in your house, mm -hmm. right? So the butter actually got you moving and it got you sliding a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So, Joy, you were in two books, two anthologies. How mm -hmm. did you find that experience? Because the viewers out there that would like to be in anthologies, could you explain a little bit what more on what an anthology is and how you, the journey of it and, and all of that? Okay, yes. And so I am in two anthologies, as Liz said, and my experience was phenomenal. Both of them were very different. But let me, if now if somebody would have said, you know, two years ago, because this this is only about two years being an author, Joy, could you see yourself as author? I'm like, no, what you talking about? But let me tell you how it started. Because you know, there's always a story. So yeah. prior to my 40th birthday, it was the countdown to 40. I'm like, all right, coming out of my 30s. So during 40 days for, for my birthday, in the month of April, I wanted to do a post every single day uh, leading up to my birthday. So I would just post different stuff, quotes, you know, people would comment on. And then after I did that, I was like, wow, this is really good. I really enjoy, you know, the feedback or just, just being able to inspire. I said, wow, I could maybe, maybe one day, maybe this would be a book or something or, or do something with it. Left it alone, right? That happened in April. Later on that year, through somebody I knew, my coach, my mentor, 
reached out to me and she's been doing books and all of this. I'm like, girl, go, I got your book. I'm reading this great. So she says, Hey joy, you know, I'm about to, you know, somebody's looking for authors. Would you like to join this interest call? Sure. Again, like a sponge. Yep. Take me along. So we get on the call. And again, as a coach, this, my first book was called Silhouettes of Authentic Coaches from Mind, Body and Soul. So a group of people talk about, here's the visionary, what her topics were. And again, thinking about, okay, I'm on this call. Now, because I'm new to this, what am I going to write about? So I picked, I'm writing about body. And I wrote about my transformation with my weight loss. So in that book, I have my before picture and my after picture. And I gave people strategy about making sure that they're making themselves a priority in their health. Just different stuff that shared along the journey that has helped me that I t continue to help others. Phenomenal experience. And so the second one led from the first one, led to the second one. So everything's by, remember I said divine timing, right? Y'all remember yeah. my one of my T's, divine timing. If I didn't do the first one, that may not have helped me with the second one. So the second one again, hey, I'm about to do this book, interested, step into leadership grades. Hey, I'm a leader. I have grown up with great leadership. I have seen, I've seen also not great leadership. You know, I said, I could probably write about something on leadership at the table. We get a chance to pick our topic. So I picked conflict. Why? Ooh. Because I teach conflict as an adjunct professor. But I teach it in a way that, yes, when we when I say conflict, people are like, oh, that's negative argument. But also conflict can create spaces to be heard, to be understood and understanding your triggers, understanding there are stages in conflict, understanding how to use I statements, how to defuse stages of, of conflict can help you in life. Not just at work, in life, because we are all in relationships with others. Absolutely. So, so, so I took that topic and I even went into that. Everybody says that conflict is negative. It can be, but it's how you choose to respond to it. And so what did I do through that? I gave them tips about knowing triggers, knowing your strategies. And again, in my class, I've had even my students say I learned so much from this conflict class. They, we do assessments. They learn their partners better because now if I understand myself, that's that awareness piece, that's that education, I'm better to understand how I show up. And then I'm able to maybe identify what's my partner. And then we can have conversations about, so when I know you get upset, I'm going to learn not to be yelling and screaming because if we know we've seen conflict on TV and in movies, when people are yelling and screaming, Nobody's listening. We do yeah, know that. Right? Listening. Nobody's listening. And so when one person gets the 10, I can't get the 10 because that's not going to work. So you got to learn those boundaries and learn, you know, how to have those conversations and all of that. And so both of those experiences, being, you know, a co-author and being a part of these anthologies was phenomenal. And I truly would say timing. They helped me prepare myself for that speaking engagement. If I didn't do those two books, because in that book, we were doing podcasts. We were out there everywhere I was going. We were talking about the book, but that was a part of the, you know, launching the book. But I got a chance to talk about me, who I was, why I picked my, my chapter. But that opened the door. So that opened the door to have Dr. Sylvia reach out to me. Then that later opened the door for a Sean Fair to reach out to me. Then that later opened the door for me to meet Liz and all the other dynamic, you know, speakers on letting the other opportunities that I have received because why? It was all in the time. It was all in the divine. So when I say I'm just one person that has actually reflected, and I do that often, kind of reflect back on life and be like, wow. And just how, I, so I coach people about how to be prepared and positioned. I speak from that because all of that was how I was preparing and how I was positioned for this next. And so that is the platform that I speak about, ties into all those three E's. I want to help people be prepared and, the, and positioned for whatever is next. Because it starts with the mindset, Miss Liz, as we talked about. It starts being how we connect, how we show up. All of that helps us answer the yes to life. 
Well, and I think that's really important that you bring that to the table, right? The conflict, because you're right. Like if somebody's yelling and you're yelling, you're not solving anything, right? Mm -hmm. And if this person's coming at you at a 10 and you're only at a two, you're, mm -hmm. you're already shut down again. Like, you know, mm -hmm. so we have to find these solutions in that. Now, I know that you do incredible work with a lot of different things, Joy. So if you could share with the viewers out there, what, what do you do besides the 3E consulting and the motivational speaking? What else do you do to bring joy to joy, bring joy to joy? I love that. <laughs> that was, that was a mouthful, wasn't that? Bring joy to joy. I love that. How do I bring joy to joy? And I truly bring joy to joy is just being used as a vessel to inspire others. And that really is, that is so authentic and genuine. So for instance, we talked about my health journey. So again, talking to one of my girls, she was like, girl, I got this cruise I'm going on in January. I'm like, okay, girl, I'm trying to lose this weight. Okay, now my, all my friends know every day I get up and do my self-care, something. So I decided, I said, I'm gonna launch another uh, fitness challenge, health challenge, I'm gonna empower women. And I called it Get Right, Get Tight and get fit. And I was inspired by her because again, what am I doing? I'm just helping somebody again, being accountable, setting up a program to help them be successful. So I have about seven women on this three week journey with me and we're doing different stuff. But again, I want to be able to inspire them that you can do it. So we're doing stuff fun and I got all these challenges and I'm posting motivational quotes and hey, y'all, this great day outside. Make sure you go outside and post your picture. So when you talk about what brings me joy doing that, it's the little things, how I can be used because I'm still walking in the gifts to help somebody else. And that really is anything I'm about, anything I'm about or a part of. I just can't sit by and not to see something and don't offer the help. That's not my nature. And sometimes I'd be like, then be like, Joe, how do you get yourself? Because you just said yes. But that's what my calling is. I just, I, it's my nature. I am about making people and places better. And I can't do that being quiet. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that by offering. So, you know, if I see a need, I'm going to try to help it. That's what I do. And I'm going to make a difference. Because again, as I look back over my journey, I always say, on this journey called life, I want to be able to help somebody with a word or song and my living will not be in vain. And that's really what my calling is. And that's what gives me joy that somebody, even after I'm going to say that girl kept going, she encouraged me. She said I can do it. She, you know, did something to bless my soul, whatever that is, inspire me, encourage me, took a mentor, you know, just sat down to ask me, how do I do this? Offered to help me. All of that. That is what gives me joy. So the service and giving to other is what gives me joy. And so I do that in my day-to-day -day job, which I'm so blessed because I've been in HR, grew up in it. And so I'm able to share that experience. I've walked the journey of a lot of you know, different HR professionals. And now as my new position, I'll be able to have impact and influence like no other. And so I'm super excited, Ms. Liz, because I understand the assignment that I've answered my yes to. And so I am humbled. I am so humbled. And I'm excited because we're going to go higher. We're going to go greater. And it's, we gonna, I'm going to spread all this joy in this new organization. I'm just excited to be able to just inspire others and to create new things. I, I really like how deep you get, Joy. It really mm -hmm. is encouraging. And for the viewers out there and the youths out there, especially, mm -hmm. you know, you got to push yourself. You got to get motivated. You got to mm -hmm. empower yourself. And like Joy said, you have to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts with you. If we don't, if we don't believe in ourselves, we can't push ourselves further. You know, no matter who's behind us, who has our back, if we don't believe in ourselves, we can't do it. So we have to be that person that says, you know what? I'm that three E out there, you know, and I can make a difference. I can educate, I can equip and I can empower, you know, you can be that three E mm -hmm. if you reach out to Joy Brown and you, and you find out what brings her joy will bring you joy because joy really does have a way of engaging with people and making people see within themselves. That's mm -hmm. one thing that I learned about you, Joy, when we got to spend time together is that, you know, you don't do the work for us. You give us the tools and it's up to us to use those tools, you know? Now, with your weight loss journey, how much weight did you actually lose and how long did it take you? 
Oh, that's great. So I actually lost. This is the, the second is a jerk. There's a story. So the second time I lost probably over a hundred pounds. Wow. And so the first time, yes. Yeah. So I think both times, but this time I was like, no, every, every hill, every sit up, every run. I said, oh, no, 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 we're not going back. I gave all the clothes away. <laughs> That's another thing. You know, <laughs> that was the first thing. In the garbage. Go. <laughs> no, but we're not going to. That's a strategy. No, we're going to lose the weight and we're going to give away the clothes. Yeah. So we're not going to go back in the same clothes that we left from. No, no, no. We're not doing it because what? That's a, oh, well, I could just, if I gain it back, I still, no. Mm -mm. The, I like that. I like that. So, right. It's those type of things. But at this time, and I think the difference was for me that my mindset was different. And I just, again, chose that, that this journey of my life, when I said I want to live my best life, and that means in every sense, my health, my wellness, my self-care, my professional, that was important to me. And it's making yourself. And so even as, you know, I'm doing it. Um, something this week on mom inspired summit and we talk about that self-care i know it's hard i know it's hard but you have to find your self-care in that because you can't be the best mom the best author the best anything if we're not pouring in and taking care of ourselves even if it's for 15 minutes but how you do that is why you got to connect yourself get your community see see all of that went together right yeah. again that's a successful tip i would not have made it without the village so when I was younger, going to school, my grandparents watched my son. Sometimes my son was at school with me when I was going through school. And it's funny now that my dean is still there. And she remembers that little boy in that classroom with his mother. But what I say now is that little boy is 23, graduated on time from his number one school and is doing phenomenal. But guess what? He saw me serve. He saw me never give up. He saw me involved. And so when you think like, you know, your kids aren't watching, I would tell y'all think I'm some mine, honey, he, he makes his own path in his own way. And I say, people who know him just love him. And he has this spirit. And I knew when I had him and he, I saw his gifts and he was in Boy Scout, made Eagle Scout before he could drive. But I knew then he had a spirit with young people. I watched him. I would say, you know, Javante, and his name was Javante. I would say, you ever think about, you know, majoring in education? No, his major is social work. Oh, wow. My undergraduate was family studies. And so when you have been in a family who is service and giving and empowering, and that's our model. And then I saw him do throughout the stuff I exposed him to see the gifts. So all I did was nurture them. And it's funny now, after he's done that and now he's working with young people, he now says, wow, I get it. I see how everything's lining up for what I was doing in Boy Scouts in my summer job when I was camp director. Now you're working at a school with young people. That's the journey. That's the timing that I talk about. Absolutely. Right. All, we, all the past, the past, the present and the future. Oh. It, we're not saying to bring all of the negative into the present, into the future. We're saying you need the past to understand mm -hmm. your present, to understand the future. Yes. You know, and you need to take those tools and you need to take those tips and you need to move them into the present, into mm -hmm. the future, you know, by changing them, by educating mm -hmm. yourself, by getting equipped that this is what happened. Okay, maybe you went through a hard struggle. You had a journey with weight loss, but you changed the mindset. Mm -hmm. You made a difference by saying, you know what? No longer will I be doing this, you know? Mm -hmm. And you and you gave away and you started fresh. And this is what, what we need to do is we need to start fresh. We need mm -hmm. to start over. And it's okay to start over. It is. You know? And it's okay to fail. It's okay mm -hmm. to say, you know what? Okay, this is not working for me, but I tried, you know? I you tried. have to at least try so I want to get into, before we wrap up your tea time, mm -hmm. Joe, Joy, I want to get into what are your future plans for the 3E consulting? That's a very good question. So my future plans is, like I said before, I do believe that in 2022, we're going to birth some new things. And so I'm excited because one of, I'm birthing my master class on prepared and position master class. Y'all should know what's some with them peas. If it's not them ease, it's with them peas. And so in this class, I want to provide strategies to help people live their best life, to accomplish goals and aspiration. And it's going to start with one, creating that vision. I am big on vision. So as part of this master class, we're going to create a vision board. We're going to talk about that vision. 
there will be some individual coaching and some group coaching sessions. But after we talk about that vision, then guess what we're about to do? We're about to put a plan of action together. We got to have a roadmap to how do we take that vision and to make it a reality? How do we take that dream and aspiration and put some action steps to it? And after we do that, then we're going to talk about how we connect, connect and network. There is power in the network. Because again, I, Liz may need something from me. That's says, well, I don't know that, Liz, but send me that. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to send it to my network because I'm connected to people who have the answer and the resources that Liz is needing. It's all about the power of the network and the connections. So we're going to talk about building that and all of that through those tips and strategy is going to help you be prepared and positioned for whatever the next opportunity, start your business, go back to school, start a new career, pivot, course correct, you know, turn that dream, dust that dream off, put it off the back burner, side burner to the front burner. We're going to learn all of that. But it starts with your vision. It starts with that vision. What do you desire for your life? And I will say, one of my pivotal moments in my life, I really have to say, I desire more. And how did I get there? I started with my first vision board six years ago. Behind me, I have all my vision boards up. But it was when I said in my mind, I desire and want more for me. Not only did that, I, what is that looking like, Joy? I wrote it out. And don't just write it out, post it, put it up. Because that's that affirmation, people. Go back to remind yourself, I wanted this. How am I going to make that happen? That's it right there. It's almost like, you know, I'll go back to the way that you want to get into this dress or get into this. Keep that dress up. Remind yourself what the ending goal is. And I think that's important. Remind yourself, what are you trying to get to? What's your end state? So that's one of the things is I will be launching in 2022, as well as individual coaching classes, as well as group coaching. And I think I'm about to do some mentoring because, you know, people will reach out to me and, you know, hey, well, you know, Joy, you mind talking to my daughter or talking to my son? And I enjoy being a mentor. I'm in a mentor at work. I'm in a mentor in my sorority. But I just enjoyed the give back. But I also want to bring people together. And that's when we're going to start having conversations about stuff that we can just be a blessing to inspire others because it's in our story. And I do believe that our story it's not for us. Our story is to be shared with others. And if I can share anything, people know me, I'm just going to share because as I am being blessed, I have to share. You don't get blessed if you just close your, you close your mouth or close your hand. Mm -mm. So I'm going to share and continue to pour out as God pours into me to be a blessing. Well, and, and, and it's like you said, right? If we, if we don't serve and we don't share, how can we grow? How can we help each other? You know, we need to water each other's seeds. And Joy, I am honored to know you. Like, you you are an incredible young lady. Like, I am, you know, we truly make a difference when we are our authentic selves. We teach and we preach and we share who we are as an individual. And you have done that during this tea time as you have really opened up the doors and shown who Joy is and what Joy brings joy right so let's do the joy brings joy or uh, how does joy get the joy you know yeah. so let's just get the joy out there and if anybody would like to reach joy i have been sharing her links on on the screen as she's been sharing and sharing her story and, and her tea as well so she is on linktree she's on instagram she's on twitter she's on linkedin so if you would like to reach out to joy joy what is your future plan for speaking in 2022 i'm i'm going to already claim that we're going to have some more opportunity in some organization i want to facilitate some workshops for organizations about you know just tapping into the talent and engagement that's one of the things that's definitely through the pandemic we've had to lead differently as leaders and, t and, you know, oftentimes be the coach and even the mentor to our employees. And I think the future of work is so very different. So I definitely want to do something with facilitating some workshops and leadership and empowering leaders as well as staff and facilitating, you know, various conversations. And so I will say that is what's in store 
for that. I speak that. And so when it's all said, I'm like, remember Liz, when I said I was going to be doing it, girl, guess what? I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> so I just speak an opportunity for me to speak more, to get into some organizations and some small groups, to have some conversations and some workshops. Because that's when we do the work. That's when we're going to really connect and bond and share. And that's really what I really love. That's like I do in the classroom. I love teaching in the classroom. Because I get a chance to hear from students and we get a chance to relate and, and get to talk about and how do we apply that to life? And that's what it's all about. So that's what's in store for joy. Well, I really, really am honored to have you join me today for tea and to share your tea. Timing, empower, and activate. I love your tea. Your tea is a strong tea. So if anybody would like to know more on Tea Time and where Miss Liz is going in the future of 2022, you just have to stay connected. And you need to, if you need me, in any way you can reach out and I can network and we will water the seeds together and we will spill tea together and we will make a difference through a cup of tea. So I want to thank each and everyone who's watching now and who will watch the replay. Please put in the replay if you're watching replay where you're watching from so I know where I can be hitting the audience a little harder and there's always room for growth and my tea is ready to grow for 2022. So Joy, what is your 3E ready to do in 2022? Oh, my three E is ready to go higher and greater. And so looking forward to launching some, again, the master classes are coming, prepared and positioned. We'll have probably have some challenges and the health tip to just be empowerment to others. And so looking to have some conversations and some workshops in a variety of areas. So if you're looking for some empowerment, looking how to go from strategies of how to go from a strategy to some action plan and execution, then please reach out to me because I am passionate about educating, equipping, and empowering people and organizations to be their best selves and to accomplish their goals and accomplishments in life. And so it has been my pleasure to be with you, Miss Liz, on Tea Time. Well, thank you so much, Joy, for joining me today on Tea Time. And I will see everyone November 14th at 4 p.m. with a new guest, Dr. April Johnson, who will be here sharing on the April Johnson's ex, uh, enterprises. I had to look at, like, my eyes are all, go all gooey gooey here. But, yes, and April will be joining me November 14th at 4 p.m. And she will be sharing her cup of tea with all of you out there. So I want to thank you each for joining me on Tea Time today, and we will make a difference one cup of tea at a time. So again, stay tuned because Miss Liz is just getting started and I'm spilling hard. So I'll see you November 14th at 4 p.m. with a new guest. Thank you. Thank you.